Oh, hello, it's the kleptomaniac again. It's been a while, hasn't it? You probably thought that I perished tragically in that nuclear toothpaste factory accident from a while ago. Uh, you know, all of those unicorns and elves, they were just completely destroyed. So I should probably show you what I've, what I've been up to lately. I mean, I've had a lot of free time since then, so uh, let, me, let, me, uh, let me just show you around. You know, let's, let's do it. So I've been doing a little research and I found out that people just love guns. They, you know, after playing very violent video games such as Puzzle Master 3000, they just, they just want to pick up a gun and solve all of their problems with it. So, um, you know, I thought I would start making, making guns because I, I love guns. I love placing objects using my gun with my object placer. I'm just going to show you how I shoot my problems away. So basically, it, you know, I have, uh, if I want to place these questionable crates in a questionable corner of my environment, I can just blast them in the place. I just shoot them. I'm just shooting my problems away, you know. And these crates could contain anything, you know, body parts, uh, you know, questionable documents, plants, novelties, anything it's just it's so great it's it's so great that we can we can just shoot everything and maybe uh these equally questionable plants could also be a uh you, you could also place these you could just blast them in the place and uh it's it's that easy it's just so great i'm just gonna put them everywhere i'm just gonna cover up the entire environment with plants maybe not uh let me undo that let me just let me just get rid of all that stuff because uh we have we have other important things to discuss so we're we're just gonna we're just gonna go over over here and uh i've also been working on some other inventions of mine so for example i can, i have i have tools such as such as this doodad thing you know where you can just you can just blast it and uh have like a bunch of cubes you can just there you go. So if you ever want to create your own Fortress of Doom, uh, you can totally do it with this thing. It's amazing. It's just, it's so fantastic what technology can do today. Oh. Oh, ho okay. Oh, I think I made a mistake. Um, that This is not... This, this, this tutorial is supposed to be about hair. Um... Um, I just noticed the title of this the, of of this. Ah, oh, this is awkward. Okay, well, um, so because the damage is already done, uh, I may as well just continue what I was doing and finish up. I know that uh, I know that as a being of flesh and other organic materials, your life is rather brief. But uh, uh, either way, I think it's important that uh, you know you always finish what what you start. So. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is uh, the fact that uh, you can you can kind of do um, you know motion capture recordings. So if I can wave my hands like this, and uh, there we go. Now that's not even the the cool part. That's just the preview. So if I can just hit this save recording thing here, it gives me the latest and greatest in technology. It's called exporting your animation into other programs you know nowadays i was told that uh, food processors somehow can can do 3d work now you can actually do 3d computer graphics with a food processor so you can take this into a blender and uh have the exact same animation as uh what you did in neos isn't that awesome Okay, we're going to get back on topic. So uh, I'm going to show you how you can use various types of hair to make yourself somewhat, somewhat less unattractive. So pretend for a moment that you're this guy. Oh, I wish I were a popular YouTuber and I could get all the likes, subscribes, and upvotes, and tweets, and whatever 
whatever other thing. I wish I could have a bodacious Mondo hairdo that just makes me so popular that I can't even keep track of the people who watch my videos anymore. I, I wish I wish I could I wish I could be as cool as Business Bird. Okay, so the general idea is that I've made available an asset pack that is specifically designed for hair. So what you see on this table here is basically just a bunch of hair cards that you copy and paste as if your life depends on it so that you can have a complete hairdo. So one important thing to mention is that this entire asset pack uses one material and two textures. And, uh, the, you know, it's 1.5K, it's not that bad. So you don't have to worry about making your friend's computers melt if you use this on your character. So generally, the way that I get started is I, I choose the primary colors that I intend to use on the avatar, or whatever it might be. So uh, for this character, I'm going to choose some colors that, that'll kind of complement, but also stand out. So uh, we'll start with the, uh, we'll do white hair, and uh, perhaps some uh, orange hair. Yeah, there we go. Now, you can uh, use your controller menus, you know, grab something and, and then do the duplicate that way to make the hair cards work. But I, I actually recommend doing it using the duplicator tooltip, which is why I provided it with this setup. Uh, so basically what this thing does, this is actually a tooltip, and it makes it so that it, while equipped, whatever you have grabbed, if you press the trigger button, it will duplicate it. So let's assume that you want to uh, start with the character's hairline. So you could pluck out one of these uh, singular hairs, like this one. This, this is a good one to use. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I'll basically just grab it with both of my hands and um, just press the trigger button while scaling and moving the object. And what that gives you is a really satisfying um, looking bunch of hair. And then you can take the bunches of hair, um, grab that, and duplicate it that way as well so that you get something nice and uh, very satisfying looking. So what's gonna happen at some point is that you're going to get the urge to rip somebody's hair out. But the problem is if you're also grabbing the person, uh, it's gonna make it really hard to do that. So uh, the optimal way to rip somebody's hair out is to disable their grab, the, their grab mechanism using the grab setter tooltip, which is in the Neos Essentials, so that I can I can really rip somebody's hair out if if I really want to. It's it's so great. Okay, I need you to do me a big favor and pretend that this is a complete masterpiece and not a complete failure. Okay. So we're going to make this hair a permanent part of this avatar. So what we're going to do about that is we're first going to use the grab setter tooltip so that we can once again grab the avatar and move them away. Okay, and then what we're going to do is use the glue tip in its default mode to glue the hair together. So now, now the hair is considered just one piece. Very nice. One potential tricky part is actually attaching the hair to the avatar's head. So um, I'm just gonna show you the future-proof method of using the developer's tooltip to do it. So generally what you're going to do is you're going to move the character back into place and uh, you want to uh, use the developer's tooltip, the secondary action button. You're going to point at the character's head and just just uh, press the secondary action button and uh, open the inspector. You want, to, you want to navigate to the head of the character. You notice that I selected the eye of the character, so I'm going to press the up button here until I get to the head of the character. Here we go. This is what we want the hair to be parented to. So now what I'm going to do is select the hair and open up an inspector panel there. And I'm going to make sure to, to uh, crawl up to the topmost part of the hierarchy, glued, and I'm going to drop that into the 
the uh, the head of the avatar. So what that leaves us with is nav with the hair moving with the avatar. So uh, one other thing that you're going to want to do though is make it so that the hair is not grabbable so that people can't just rip it off your face. Or maybe you're a masochist and you actually want that. But regardless, I'm going to use my grab setter tooltip and spare this poor fellow from any further pain. I have a few final notes before I wrap up this video. So uh, you might have noticed that I provided a, a brush for you to use. Uh, this uses the, the same texture, or it, it uses like uh, a similar texture to all the other cards so that when you go to color them and you pull off a sheet, you'll notice that uh, you get a material orb too. You see that? So I'm actually going to take this brush and dip it into the material orb. And the, the purpose of this brush is to allow you to create custom hair shapes. So if you want to create something uh, that looks like curly hair or something like that, you'll be able to do it. Finally, I want to clarify the options of alpha and cutout because, uh, you know, alpha does tend to provide much softer looking hair, but you really want to use cutout whenever possible. Uh, a, it'll stack better if you spam it quite a bit, and B, it, it won't make your friend's computer cry if you use a thousand cards or so. So uh, just, just to show you that out, uh, cutout can be used in to, to make something that looks soft. I'm just going to grab this hair piece here and uh, just duplicate it a bunch of times. And uh, just duplicate it, duplicate it. Okay. And it looks really nice and really soft. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, I, I was going to, uh, I, I did recently get an abandoned plushie factory that I'll be, that I'll be working. You know, I just, I just need to get the, the nuclear power plant installed underneath of it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Pl please leave. You're making me uncomfortable.